My generation was, was uh, processed and told, uh, be respectful, dress well. It uh, shows the image of, of you and your, your thinking. And, it's, uh, and, and the reality is in communication, that, that is a big part of the communication process. Mm -hmm. It's how you look and how you're shaped up com uh, coming at me and saying, look at me and, and I want you to hire me. And you look like you've shot up in a shot out of a cannon you're all wrinkled up and so forth, hair uh, uh, messed up, and you, you sit down and here I am and I'm going, oh no, you but don't respect me. Everything we've seen in our research was that it's tell millennials, or it's telling older generations, Generation X and baby boomers, that they have to come down to the millennials level, if you want to use that phraseology. It's basically saying, you're going to win out, so you know, they're going to have to work with. They're going to have to work with you. Well, that's all well and good, but really, especially in this market, what you're seeing is the older generations are firmly entrenched, and they're the business owners. So they're the ones that are going to really, for the for the next 10, 20 years, even be in control. So the millennials have to learn how to work with them. And we found out that by, if you make a few minor concessions or change the way you do things, you can still get what you want. You can still be a millennial, but it can be a more functional, harmonious working relationship.